We do not check to be sure all the nodal uh, white color varnish or print out with perfect. Then we start to do the head calibration. Because we print, we put, we install print head white color varnish. We must be sure the all the print head is straight, not like this, or like this, or forward, backward, bending like this. So we must uh, print some not some some. Uh, some test print to check if the print head is still where with good position. We go to the Focus Alpha Jet control system and we go to text and we choose vertical calibration print. So we can see some lines print out. CMYK, KCMYLCOM, and also have white and varnish, varnish and white at each position. So we must be sure what we want to do, we need to do is we must be sure the white or the nodes, for example, we take the black channels to see the first print is on the top, is the first print, and then it's the second print. We must be sure the first print and second print connect with one line like this, straight line. If printed by this way, for example, if it printed by this way, this is the first print, and the second print by this way, that the second print goes to red. So we need to adjust the color print head to red a little bit to move the carriage, move the print head by a screwdriver, loosen the print head, and Load the print head a little bit by this way. And also if you print the cord, if you print out the second print uh, close to left side, so we need to move to left, move to left a little bit. So this is the vertical calibration for each print head. And also we can see the print the, the nozzle for white for white and for varnish. I must be sure all are printed with directed line. No, no are close. So you can adjust screw, loosen the screw, and also we can adjust the, the we push down the emergency button, we moved the carriage to out of home position. We can see so we need to loosen this. We need to not loosen the print head, but loosen the print head adapter board. This one, loosen the screw. One, two, and three, four. This one and this one. For example, for example, right now, right now the color is perfect, so we need to adjust. But for if it's moved to wrong position, we need to adjust. We loosen this one, not print head screw, but print head adapter board. This one, loosen the screw and this screw. And back side, the, the aluminum, aluminum pallet. And then this one. Then we move the pallet a little bit, rotary. And also, we will give you a screwdriver screw here. We need to we can use the screw to to make the close. So here, one, two, three, four screw to adjust the, each print head, make the vertical. Uh, and then test the game to be sure the lines struck for each print head. So this is a calibration for print head. Okay, then we print the vertical calibration again to check. Go to software test vertical calibration.
and open a UV lamp. So we can see the print result here. We can see that the first print and the second print. We can see the second print here is move overlap to left, not direct lines. Here, overlap. We can enlarge and see. You see here, like this. Like this. So this, not strict line. So this, no good calibration. Because the second print moves to left. So if by this way, print moves to left, by this, uh, by this kind of uh, calibration result, we need to move the, cal move the print head to left. By this way, rotary. So we just uh, push down the, we, we, just, we just need to move the carriage by press the button. Move to left and move the carriage to the middle. And we start to calibrate the print head. We can see there are some screws locked for each print head. One, two, three, for adjust the calibration, vertical calibration. Uh, before we adjust the, this screw print head, we need to loosen the four screw to lock the print head. It's not loosen the print head, but loosen the print head adapter board. The two screw. And because it's moved to left, so we must load it to left. So we must uh, move by this way. So we just uh, loosen it and we pull this to front a little bit and push this back. Push a little bit. And then we print again. We press X home. And we go to test. We click off the wire margin and test vertical calibration. Okay, so we can see now it's moved to left, to right. It's moved to right too much. Before it's to before here it's to left, but now it's moved to right. We can see here. It's moved to right too much. So that means we adjust too much. We need to adjust the back a little bit. It's the same way to press to left, move the catch out of whole position, and then we adjust this. A little bit. Then print again. So now it's become closer. Almost jacked. You can see the first print, third print, almost jacked, but the, or only have a little bit, maybe two pieces move to left. So we need to adjust a little bit again. After we adjust, we press X home and test vertical calibration print.
Okay, now it's perfect. We can see all the nodes is stacked. First print K, C, M, Y here. This is the before print before. So we can see the lines. Now, first print, second print, stacked as a strict line. So this is good. And we can see here, this is first print. It's close. It's not, it's overlap. So this is not good print head position installation. So this is good. So trust them. Um, so please trust uh, must be shown this is the best result for calibration for print head. If you get this result for each print head, KCMY, LCOM, and also do the same way to align print head for white and varnish. So this is the basic requirement to print a good chord picture before you do other alignment. So hope everybody can do same job as master vision from focus.